Uh, cool. I don't know, we see him flying. Before any locks and dams were built on the Mississippi River in the Twin Cities, the river dropped from above St. Anthony Falls down to the confluence with the Minnesota, Minnesota River, about eight and a half miles fresh. It dropped about 11 stories, 110 feet the Mississippi drops through this stretch. You can imagine at high water how powerful a rapids would have boiled through the gorge here. In 1907, we'd be on a river that uh, this boat could just barely navigate. The other thing that would have been amazing here is that there's accounts of early early explorers, early people coming to the river, that they could hear St. Anthony Falls from 10 or 20 miles away. That is. They don't, they don't place it there anymore. No, I know. But, um, 1766, when an English colonist, Jonathan Carver, comes here, he goes up to St. Anthony Falls. He says there's two small islands below the falls, and one of them, Spirit Island, is full of eagles' nests. He said the reason for all the eagles' nests are all the fish that try to jump up the falls. If we'd have been on the Mississippi here prior in 1930, we, we couldn't have been, really, because the smell would have been so horrendous. We'd have been working our way through a mat of, of sewage that had risen to the surface. Five of the nation's leading stockyard companies were in, in St. Paul. And putting all their waste from the stockyards from South St. Paul into the Mississippi River. And Clarence Yonk, when he actually he camps for the night below the stockyards after he leaves the gorge, and he wakes up in the morning and he finds a cow carcass up against his houseboat. He goes to push it off with a pole, and the pole goes right through the cow and lets out this horrendous stench. He's got to push it off by the skeleton. So in 1935, they authorized the Pig's Eye Sewage Treatment Plant, and it's completed in 1938. And within only about five years, the Mississippi is much, much cleaner and much, much healthier. Are you, are you, I know my son is in home all Part of the Patrick Canaway yeah. makes two trips a day from the gravel <clears throat> pits down on uh, Great Cloud Island up to just above St. Anthony Falls. And that's all the traffic there is. They don't even do much scrap, do they, anymore? I, mean, I haven't seen a lot of scrap. And so the, the Ganaway the, doing the, the gravel is just about the only river tra traffic we see for far. The big issue in the future for this part of the Mississippi is going to be in these locks and dams staying here is going to be much more to do with hydroelectric power than navigation, most likely. So what, what these dams are going to really serve is hydroelectricity. And that's a clean, efficient use um, of resources.